This is our new breakout for the BlackBerry trackball. Now the interesting thing about these trackballs is that they actually use Hall effect sensors and magnets to register motion instead of things like little potentiometers or some other similar mechanical way of registering the motion on the ball. That means that you get a pretty high resolution and it's pretty easy to read out what's going on. For each direction that you can move the ball, up, down, left, and right, there is a separate roller that only rolls when you're moving in that direction, and the Hall effect sensor registers the motion of that roller. So you actually have four separate directional pins, an up, down, left, and right, each of which gives you an up and down pulse every time that that thing is moving, and the faster the pulse, of course, the faster the motion. To read this, normally you would want to use four hardware interrupts. That way you can catch every single time that that Hall effect sensor fires. Unfortunately, if you're using it with something like an Arduino Uno or a Redboard as I am here, you only have two hardware interrupts to use. So I have to do what's called polling, which is just checking over and over again in the code to see if anything has changed on the board. Now, if you're really clever, you could use something called an XOR gate and just XOR all of the outputs of the trackball. That way, the XOR gate would put out a signal every time that one of those things changed, and you could feed that to a single hardware interrupt. Every time that interrupt fires, you just look to see which of those things changed. The trackball also has a few other features. There is a button on the board so that when you press it, it'll register a button press. There are also four LEDs, a white one as well as an R, G, and B, so you can mix them to get any color that you want. What I've done here is I've hooked it up to an Arduino. I'm reading which direction the ball is moving as well as the button press uh, just by pulling. And in this demo, all I'm doing is moving left to right changes either to the red, green, or blue LED, and then moving up or down changes the brightness of that channel. When you press the button, it mixes all of those channels together and you can see what color they make.